for some reason, there's a lot of people out here that want to pretend to be the cops. That makes it tough for the public because they don't really know if it's a real cop or not. A typical traffic stop begins with a violation that the officer observes. The officer will then pull in behind you, activate all of his emergency gear, uh, normally just the lights. Fully marked units will have a light bar with flashing lights, take down lights, side lights, spotlights, strobe lights in the front or some type of, of uh, flashing light. Now on a unmarked unit, most agencies have a full light package with spotlights, uh, interior light bar. Again, they'll have the strobes in the front, side markers, so they'll be very well lit. An impersonator may just have uh, kind of a blue light, like the center lights, and they'll be sitting probably on the dashboard. You know that there's a, a police unit behind you. Just find an appropriate place to uh, pull over, a well-lit place, a populated place, a 7-Eleven, a gas station, something like that. If it's on the freeway, make sure there's at least a shoulder or you may take an exit. Turn on your uh, turn signal so that we know that you're gonna be making a move. When you do pull over, put the car in park, leave the car running, put the flashers on, keep your door locked. Just roll the window down a little bit till you feel comfortable that the officer is an officer or a trooper or a, a deputy. If you ever feel that something isn't right, don't hesitate to dial 911. The officers are are quick to respond to these kind of things. Take a look at what he's wearing. If he's wearing a full uniform, an equipment belt that usually has a radio, a pistol of some sort. Most officers carry tasers these days. If he just has a belt, a dress belt or something like that, yeah, now you should be on the phone for sure. Because no officer out there would approach a car, especially at night, with just a, a dress belt on. I think most people know when things are not as they seem. This officer is asking me to step out of my vehicle and I don't feel safe, I don't feel comfortable. He doesn't really look like he's a real officer. Maybe you should think about getting your cell phone and dialing 911. If we have some guy out there, or some gal out there pretending they're the cops, that's a big issue for us. We don't want that happening. If you think about your wife or your kids getting pulled over by somebody who's pretending to be the cops, any number of things could go wrong.